I'm going to be the president of the Trump Organization. I can't do it today. I can't do it today. You know what I'm doing right now? I'm like this. I'm like this. And you know what? Maybe we should all crawl in there because you know what? Like I already said, denial is a river in Africa. I'm not denying anything. Today, I'm crawling. Tomorrow, I'm going to be like this. Next week, I'm going to be like this. And in a couple weeks, I'm going to stand up there just like he does. And I'm going to be promoted the president of his organization. Now I'm you're, not now you're homo erectus, okay? I take solace in the fact that I have a higher IQ than the other 15 contestants, which just goes to show you that there's little correlation between IQ and success in lemonade sales. He asks Sam what time it is. He tells you how to build a clock. Let me show you our direct mail campaign. I mean, look at this piece of artwork. Would you toss that? I'm not going to say what I think of that, all right? I, mean, I don't know if what you want me to think of it, but I'm kind of thinking it, but OK. Again, very simple, very elegant, very sassy. And strategic. <laughs> strategic. <laughs> and, and we can utilize these in newspapers. And this is our newspaper ad. is burned down. Sammy's gonna have cardiac arrest. That guy's heart's going a mile a minute. I'm worried about him. I'm a little bit worried about the guy. Sam the man, you need to relax. Sit up for a second. Close your eyes. Deep breath in. Now, think of Sammy in the city and erase that image. Now Sammy's the country kid. Think about doing a little fishing. You think about just kicking back. You got the mountains behind you. Everything's fine. Relax. Be the country kid. Be the hat. Thank you, Troy. You're welcome, buddy. They just don't. Right now, I'm going to sit at the front door. And I don't care if I'm sitting here for 72 hours. I'm not moving until someone comes over here and greets me at the door. The most brilliant performance of the evening was obviously, where is Sam? Where is Sam? When I come home to my parents' house, I'm greeted at the door. What's going on here? Either he's incredibly brilliant or he's half nuts. But he's still here, and he's hilarious. I love him. If anybody thinks that this wild man thing is a strategy, they should come back and join me where I live. And they will see that I haven't even begun to become a wild man. You know what? Life's too short to be a bitch. Huh? Come here. You want to shake my hand? No, I want to shake You really do. Come here. Give me a sway. OK, give me a hand. That was one of the biggest moments of my life, shaking that man's hand. He is my mentor. He just shook my hand, and my sweaty hand. Stay on track. Okay, he's got, he got you sidetracked. Okay. I need you to sit down for 30 seconds. 30 seconds is what I need. When you open your eyes, we're going to be focused, and we're going to be gamed. But we're not going to talk about anybody shaking anybody's hand. We're not going to talk about nothing. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. OK. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. I need to talk to y'all about getting my legs waxed. And I know it sounds a little unusual, obviously. A little bit unusual for me. If I allow you ladies to go ahead and enjoy the pleasurement of me getting my legs waxed, uh, could you guys consider that payment enough and just get it done as quick and as painless Absolutely as possible? Absolutely not. Ow, that's hot. Everybody to know that this was for the team, and that's why I did this. Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh, oh. Is it patient? This is just not right. This is medieval. You have to yeah. earn it, and if you don't earn it, you have to demand it. Stop down. Wow. How are we going to the house? Not you tomorrow. Know. Not tomorrow. Do not go to Planet Hollywood tomorrow. Right. Only it's tonight. Okay. Only tonight. Because tomorrow it's closed. You sit on a throne of lies. And then we pulled out Donald Trump the game.
Open the bidding. Force a sale of any property. I will take 40% ownership of the hotel and the casino, give you 60% ownership. Never, never give up ownership. We're playing the game, and Bill decides to pipe in on my negotiations. You never give up ownership. That's the first rule in real estate. No, I'm keeping mine. Therefore, I said, OK, I'll pipe up when he's negotiating. What you got for me? That sports complex does you no good. Never give up what ownership. What kind of cards? Never give up ownership. Yeah, no, 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 it's an apartment. Oh, no, you don't. I, I, I'm I, you started the phase. Oh, stop if you'll stop. Shake on it. Bill stood up and he says, let's make a handshake on it. Let's not talk while the other person's negotiating. I pay out if I, I play my cards. Everything that makes money, I get 30% of it. But you can understand. sell it in sandbag. Right? What happened to the handshake? <laughs> you can't back up your handshake. I was trying to help you out. I agree. But, bottom line, if I have to work with Bill, I will. But Bill broke the handshake deal. Bill's a snake. Here's to the happy couple. She needs a drink, man. Bring her upstairs for some specials. She's my sister. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not ready. <right. laughs> Ladies, would y'all like a picture to remember y'all's experience tonight? That's OK. We don't want to remember this night, because we're working. Here we go, Kwame Jackson. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, I got free autographs. Kwame Jackson, I got New York native, Wall Street's finest. New After York a while of just doing the $5 off and realizing we weren't getting the buzz going in, I came up with a creative spark of genius. All right. One, two, three. There it is. Thank you. Get an autograph from Kwame Jackson. Who's Kwame Jackson? He's New York man, and he works on Wall Street. That's who Kwame Jackson is. Come on now, get your autograph, Kwame Jackson. Kwame Jackson, get your autograph. What's up, man? Kwame. People come to me and, you know, hopefully think that I'm worth giving an autograph, and then they come into the restaurant and they look at their $5 off car and hopefully use it in the restaurant. B. We were doing great with it. Hell, he even started selling merchandise, signing Kwame Jackson. Now, I don't want to ruin your day of golf at Trump National, but I have something to say. You are smart, dynamic, and attractive women. You beat the guys fair and square, but you're coming a little close to crossing the line, relying on your sexuality to win. Well, it's unnecessary. Carolyn? Things like that aren't going to get you the job here. I want to know that one of you may be president of one of his companies. Right. Anyway, good luck. Thank you. Let's go check that dumpster down. You want to see if there's anything in there? Oh, absolutely. Look, what is this? This is a garment rack. The only concern I have is getting the damn thing out. I have to win this or I'm gonna get fired. Okay. <laughs> and don't you want dear Nick. old Nick around? Yes, Nick, I want you around. This is my first garbage dump dive. Pretty adventurous. Be careful. Come on. There's a car window in here. It's called using resources. It's called being resourceful and using things without paying for them. And it was absolutely brilliant. Mr. Trump would be proud. But I want to look for some more garbage. We found good stuff. <laughs> Nick, you look pretty sexy. Switching yeah, right. Around. Thank you for saying <laughs> that, though. Thank you. But um, it was basically <laughs> the concept of... The bird is funny. What is that, pigeon? That is a pigeon. She stuffed the money in her back pocket and asked me to keep an eye on her bottom when she took the money out to make sure none of it dropped on the ground. You have your finance person and you have your team leader, and the money somewhere disappeared between the hand and the ass, right? <laughs> That's what we come up with, Russell. What we had the idea is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? <laughs> I, I'm from Idaho, but originally I'm from Montana. You're not self-conscious about your accent, are you? You can make fun of me with my accent. <laughs> That's all right. Russell basically looked at Troy as if he was from Mars. You know, Russell is an urban guy from Queens, New York. And Troy's accent is great, Montana, Idaho. And so that back and forth was good because it helped us break the ice a little bit. You would be willing to honor one person for one night and make them the center of attention. That's, that's a good idea. That sounds like, for me, I would spend some time with a person so yeah, I could... Make, yeah, just make them feel as good as you can. Troy's a great closer. Um, his country demeanor helped close the deal. Thank you for being here. We go to meet with the Fab Five, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. I wanted to have a strategy to warm these guys up. What is their job? Their job is to critique straight men. 
You can't have a straighter man than a country kid from Boise, Idaho. I simply took my belt off, slipped it off, and I stuffed it into my bag. I'm from Boise, Idaho, originally Montana. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you approve? <laughs> I yeah. no belt on. Yeah. What is the belt situation? None. You might as well be naked if you have no belt on. <laughs> A country innocent boy who doesn't know how to dress. I mean, I was a virgin on prom night to those kids. And guess what? Once that happened, bam, I was in like Flynn. You want to be an intern, don't you? <laughs>